Hi Youtubers, I'm making a short video on how to open up um, the Dynamic D1010 microphone. Uh, this part is pretty self-explanatory, you have the four screws on the corners here. If you can see them, like you have them here, here. So in in like, let's see if we see them better like this. So as you can see, you have a screw there in every corner. We're gonna get to that too, but. The part that I had problem with was this one as the cable was broken on the other side and the back is like there's two wires coming through this thing and one of them was broken the red one as you can see the red one here so um, <clears throat> what I did is um, I had a, a push pin I pushed on this corner and be careful you have to be like you, you have to push really hard otherwise you will scratch this uh, metal plate so mine is already open so you better have some uh, adhesive so this is this is the thing that's what's covering uh, I, I actually looked for teardown for this one for this assembly but I didn't find it so this is uncovering this part. You don't need to remove the screw here. You have a screw, but uh, I got it like this. Somebody gave it to me to to have a look at it. <clears throat> so you probably need a bigger screwdriver, but at this point um, uh, I, I can I can use a smaller one. Um, and I am using a smaller one. Because it's, um, it's doing the job for now. It would, you would probably need a bigger screwdriver, but I don't at this time. Uh, yeah, I forgot this part. So you remove this. And then you have this on off switch, which is not. This, this is a circuit board, but it has no circuits on it. So this is really stuck in here. <coughs> and the only way I managed to pull it off, to pull it out, was with the. Uh, I have a an old scalpel. You know, you have to, you need something very slim, and you have to push it like this upwards. Okay, and I probably need two hands. Uh, and you will remove this a anyways maybe you can do this with a cutter but a cutter would, would um, the blade is, is not uh, it might break the blade and, and so this is the, the back of it the red wire, the thick red wire you see it was replaced by me Others are self-explanatory. This is a plug here. You need to uh, put it back in here and unscrew the screw to lock it in place. And yeah, the final piece. I probably should have unscrewed this before I started this video because it might be harder to do it with one hand. But we can. Uh, we can manage, I guess. So, I hope this video helps. I'll post it right after I've made it. <coughs> Sorry for not taking this out before making the video damn it you don't
sorry. Might have been easier to remove all screws. And this is the interior of it. Um, I don't know what's this part, but this this is the screw. Uh, sorry, the the wire that I replaced, and um, and this is how it looks like. You also can remove this part. You have four screws. So this there. And there's another one there. I know this one only had three screws. This is how I got it. So I don't know if uh, it was like that or the person that gave it to me was. So there you have it. Again, when you open this part, be careful. You need to push the the push pin like really hard on the. On the initial thing, so you, when you push it on the corner, you, you push it like really hard, and then you pull it out. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Bye.